Israel has unveiled plans for a cyber education project for high school students in a bid to combat the threat of virtual attacks, which have risen substantially in recent years. A select group of teenagers will be chosen based on their scores in related subjects, such as mathematics, who will then follow a gruelling course about cybersecurity that has been developed jointly by the education ministry and the military. The students will be expected to use this knowledge when they later complete their mandatory military service following graduation. The military departments invest in this field to recruit soldiers equipped with excellent internet knowledge in the future, so the military have demands on this field, but we are more concerned about the future of our students. If we can provide an opportunity for them to keep in touch with the latest technology, they will continue their career in this field in the future. Around five schools and 150 students have so far enrolled for the project, with 25 more expected to join in the near future. The teachers on the course have all received training from the Israeli intelligence agency. This is our country, Israel. You can see that attacks touched at Israel are ongoing. I point here, you can see how many attacks. Look at it. Except Africa, where internet use is not widespread, the rest of the world are all have red dots. Those dots flash every 30 seconds. That indicates a cyber attack. Officials say the number of hack attacks on Israeli servers has exploded in recent years. The active hacktivist group Anonymous has even published a video threatening to erase the country from the Internet in an offensive it has dubbed Op Israel. This comes after Israeli servers were hit by a virtual bombardment in November during the Operation Pillar of Defense assault on Gaza that came in response to weeks of rocket fire from Hamas militants. Jerusalem has taken the threat seriously and says it hopes that the educational project will help nurture young internet talent to help better protect its people from cyber warfare.